Hello, hello, this is Roberto and this is the HVAC is my channel. Today we're going to be talking about manual S, but in this case we will be explaining the in the example uh, condensers for multi-speed or two stages and variable. Alright, so this is pretty much a continuation of the previous video. Alright, let's get into it. Alright, as we were seeing in the other video, we're going to make a recap. So we were saying that the manual S, right? Manual S. And manual S is coming from ACA, which is ACCA. And ACEA stands for Air Conditioning Contractors of America, all right? So let's make this manual S standard. In this manual S standard, it indicates 90% You know what? Let's do the following. We're, we're gonna we're gonna do this as the manual S states. They are indicating capacity factors or oversizing factors, however you wanna name it. Okay. So the capacity factors are zero point okay zero point ninety to one fifteen. You can, you can either write this in percentage or in decimal, okay? So that's going to be for single speed compressor. Single speed compressor. Single speed compressor. Okay? So what is single speed compressor is the most basic condenser. So in other words, whenever you're needing cooling, it's going to turn on and then you, it satisfies the cool load and then it's going to turn off. Okay, so it's on and off switch. The other one is going to be for 0 0.9 until 0 0.9, 1.20. And that's going to be for multi-speed, multi-speed compressors. But if someone tells me about multi-speed, uh, in the contractor, as a contractor, you would indicate or you would say this as a two-stage Two stage compressor. Two stage compressor. Compressor. All right. So whenever you have a two stage compressor, you have a higher sear rating. So for example, in this case, the sear in single speed, the sear rating might be 13 sear, 14 sear. It's more economic, but it's also going to be. Uh, you're n it's not going to be that efficient. Multi-speed, you can have a sear of 16 sear possibly, and that's going to mean that this is going to be more efficient. And just as a side note, uh, this sear, the, these units, which are the condensers outside, are going to be pretty much working in single stage or a two stage. I mean, in two stage, that means that usually the, comp the condenser actually is going to be working, say, in stage one, stage one, say 30% of capacity, no, not say 70% of capacity, and then stage two, full load, stage two, 100%. Okay? So this is just uh, to have an idea. Okay, manual S also tells you that you're going to be sizing your equipment from 0 0.90 to 1.30 in case you have a variable speed compressor. So in other words, you're going to have in here a SEER 20 or SEER 2. It, it, it's more efficient. So variable speed compressor, variable speed compressor, okay, compressor. And in variable speed compressor, you're going to have a more, more uh, temperature control, okay? So in temperature control, you're going to be able to vary your capacity from say 25% to 100%. Okay, so let's put that in pink. So let's put that you're going to be able to vary your capacity from 25% to 100%. But depends on the manufacturer because other manufacturers uh, are able to vary the capacity from 35 to 100%. So that, 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 that gives you an overall idea what manual S states. Okay, so you have single speed until 115, 120, 130. All right? So in the previous video, we were, we were saying that, uh, uh, honestly, it's not a good idea to 
undersized, which means below one, uh, be, below one. In this case, below one or below one hundred percent. Okay. So now let's continue with the with the example. As we were saying, we're gonna use this heat load calculation, and in the heat load calculation again, we are talking about this number. And that number is actually the cooling load, okay, based on the design conditions and everything, okay? So based on the cooling load, we're going to size the equipment using a two-stage compressor, okay? So what is the formula? We're going to put the formula right here. Over cooling percentage equals to the capacity, okay, capacity divided by the load, okay, by the load. Which load is it? Cooling load. And that's going to be times 100. Or if you don't want the 100, then you don't put percentage and it's over cooling. You, so I don't want to confuse anyone, but ACA calls it capacity factor. Capacity factor. I've also seen oversizing factor oversizing factor. So this is called by ACA manual as capacity factor. And usually in different companies, I've seen this as an overcooling percentage. Overcooling percentage. Whichever you feel more comfortable with. So this is from ACA, this is from oversizing factor, different instructors, different companies, and this is overcooling percentage. This is what the one that I'm gonna be using. It's the same name with the, the same meaning with different names, all right? So in overcooling, so we're gonna choose this. What's the capacity? So we're, in the previous video, we used a good man. So in this case, we're gonna be using a train. How about if we use a train? Let's do this. So the equipment is gonna be trained and in train, we're gonna have the XR, XR17, okay? So in the XR17, we will have the units. So as I was explaining before, once you have the model number, you will be able to find out what the capacity is. So, Let's see in here. So for, if you go online and you find the XR17 series, you're gonna find the model. So the, what's the model? The model is going to be equal to, we have two options. We have the cooling capacity of 3016. So let's use this 4TTR7036A, okay? So in the internet, it says the nominal capacity or cooling capacity. I'm gonna put the, how it says. Cooling capacity, capacity is equal to 36,000 BTUs per hour, okay? So in this case, if we're gonna be using this example, the overcooling percentage is gonna be capacity, but the capacity is gonna be 36,000 BTUs per hour divided by the following. What's the load? We have the loading here already based on a uh, software, right soft, elite, and all that ones, load calc, whichever you want. Okay, so 25, 40, 4, 45. Okay, so that's going to be 25 and then 445 BTUs per hour. Okay, so the overcooling percentage is going to be equal to the following. So let's check in here, calculator, 36 divided by 25, 445, and that gives me equal to 141, 142. Okay, this is 142% of overcooling. So based on that, number one, this unit is a multi-speed, is a two-stage, okay? So if, when it's a two-stage uh, unit, let's put two-stage, when we go to ACA, American, uh, so Air Conditioning Contractors of America, Manual S, the standard for sizing residential equipment, we are going to find out that multi-spill stage is going to be from 0.90 to 120. So this is more than 120 or 120%, okay? 
So we might consider, and this 36,000, if you divide that by 12,000 BTUs per hour, that's a, actually a three ton unit. Okay, so why don't we look at the other example then? So let's check on the, on the equipment that is lower, okay, lower, uh, the one below. So the one below is gonna be a model this is, let's put that as an option one. So this is going to be option one. So option two, because it's, it, this doesn't have to get complicated. It's either one or two. There is no other way. So, so since this is high, we're going to check on what is the lower. So on number two, it's going to, I'm going to have only available the model. Let's put the model. 40 TR 70 24 A. Okay, so what's the cooling capacity? Let's put capacity only. Capacity for this is going to be equal to 24,000 BTUs per hour, which is equal to 2 ton. Again, we're, uh, there is not a middle number, unfortunately, in two stage compressors. So you might consider maybe a single speed because in single speed compressors, you, you, you had the option to have 2 ton, 2.5 ton, 3 ton. But in this case, you only have, since it's a single two stage uh, compressor, you have 3 ton or 2 ton. So you're going to have to choose. Let's see how much our overcooling percentage gives us. So the overheating percentage is going to be equal to the capacity, which is 24,000. There we go. And that's going to be divided by um, the load, 25,445. And this is going to be, be giving us the following. So 24 divided by 25,445, and that's going to be 94%. So this is 94%. Okay, so technically this passes because 94% is within 90%. To 120 right so now if this is your home or if you are doing a great great job as a customer in customer service and professional job you have to choose whether installing a two-ton unit or three-ton unit and this is mainly personal I would always go for the higher unit even though it might create short cycling I understand that but the installations are not perfect and also there are a lot of factors to consider number one factor we have been always talking about the cooling capacity but this is a nominal cooling capacity which is what is a nominal cooling capacity means that this unit or this capacity and this number is based on AHRI standards, AHRI conditions. What are the AHRR, AHRI conditions? So those conditions are the following. They say that it's going to be 90. See, this is sized at 90, 67, and then 80 degrees. So what does that mean? 90 degrees outdoor, see, and then 80 degrees indoor. So this is dry bulb, wet bulb, and then dry bulb. So the temperature inside is based on 80 degrees. So this is not that accurate. So when, the, when you're talking about nominal capacity, it's a very good estimation. It's a little bit oversizing it already, but the real number, let's put in here nominal, but we, this is more accurate, more accurate, accurate when it comes from real conditions, real conditions, conditions after interpolation, after interpolation, interpolation, after interpolation from performance performance tables. This manufacturer or every manufacturer 
cap performance tables of the condenser paired with the coil. So we have the condenser. See, this is always paired with the coil. Inside there's going to be a coil, see, uh, in a box. So they are, they are a team, they team up. But this is always affected by the exterior. So the outdoor temperature you usually see, what's the design outdoor temperature? 94 degrees. So in this case it's 94 degrees outside. So in 94 degrees outside, this is going to have less, this is going to be less efficient. We're in AHRI nominal capacity, we're talking about 90 and we're, to, we're talking about 90 and indoor 80. So see the difference? This is higher. So this 36,000 is the nominal capacity, but technically this should be the actual capacity if you are using a software. This is, this is going to come, the interpolation, you're not going to do it by hand. You can do it, no problem. But it's better if you do it by using a software. Interpolation comes from the software itself. Software, which is going to give you the actual capacity. Actual capacity. And the actual capacity is after an interpolation based on the performance table of this pairs of condenser and coil. It's a long table uh, and that has a lot of numbers in here and there. Okay, so in this case, because of that, instead of 142, in actual conditions, this might give you 130. Okay, or maybe 139, this. So this is gonna be lower. And secondly, we were saying that for two stage compressors, the first stage is going to give you about 70% of capacity and the worst case scenario is going to give you the 100% capacity. Let's make a very quick calculation in here and then we're going to put this in pink. So what is just in case 70% of the capacity? What was the capacity that we were saying? 36, 3 ton, 36,000 BTUs. What's the 70% of that? So if we say that 70% of that, that's going to be 0 0.70 times 36, 1, 2, 3. That's 25,200. This is 25,200 BTUs per hour. Okay? So if you have that capacity and you divide that by the load, which is the heating load, you're going to be able to obtain a 99% overcooling. This, if you divide this number, 70% of the capacity divided by the load itself, that's going to give you a 90 overcooling percentage of 99%. So in other words, you're not losing money. You're going to be able to save money and it's going to fulfill this load. And then whenever you're going to have a lot of people, say you have a party or you have your family, a lot of people are drinking or you have a lot of internal loads or it's very summer, it's 94%, then you're going to have a second stage which will go up to 142 or 130, okay? So, but this unit, two-ton unit, 94% is not going to be able to satisfy that worst case scenario. Okay, so this video became a little bit longer, but it's important to know the difference. And the variable speed compressor, the same thing. You're going to size it the same way. See, this is 100%, based on the 100%, but it, this, is more, this has more control, as we were saying. And the last part of this video, this is for AC only, AC. But what about for heat pump? The heat pump... For heat pump, you have to size the heat pump, which is the outdoor unit, based on cooling only. You don't size it based on heating. You size it based on cooling. So, in other words, all of these manual S limits, see, limit one for single stage, limit two for uh, two stage, limit three, for variable compressor are going to apply. Size your heat pump based on this, okay? So in, the, in some videos, we're gonna be talking about how to do the heat load calculation, but I hope you enjoyed this video and please don't forget, 
I only ask to hit the like button and subscribe. All right? Thanks so much.